Street, I'm Julius. It's almost summer, but we got one more week about keeping the peace. So let's kick things off with a fun game. This is how you play Buzzer Beater. I will give you a puzzle to solve. Like this one. This puzzle has six letters and your hint is fruit. Can you solve it before the buzzer goes off? We'll find out. The answer is banana. Great job. But that one was practice. Let's go for real this time. This puzzle has 14 letters and is four words. Your hint is summer activity. Can you beat the buzzer? The answer is Going to the pool. Did you beat the buzzer? Spectacular. Let's take it up a notch. This puzzle has 13 letters and is two words. Your hint is summer fun. Can you beat the buzzer? The answer is water balloons. Did you beat the buzzer? WTG or way to go. Final round. This puzzle has 16 letters and is three words. Your hint is summer treat. Can you beat the buzzer? The answer is ice cream sandwich. Did you beat the buzzer? You are all champions. Thanks for playing. Buzzer beater. Guys, you ever have that feeling that something isn't right but you don't know what to do about it? Well, like a week ago, I was in school and I was in the bathroom washing my hands. I turned to get a paper towel and I ran right up into this kid who came up out of nowhere. He fell on the floor and his glasses flew off and then all these kids started laughing. So what did I do? I panicked and left. I didn't say sorry. I didn't help him up. I just ran out. And now every time I see this kid at the halls or at recess, I just get this feeling like, ah, I don't even know his name. What should I do? Should I apologize or just let it go? That feeling that Ben has, I've been there. Have you been there? I mean, it's the worst. It's like every time you see the other person, you have no peace. But what if that feeling in our gut was God trying to tell us that the no peace was because we needed to make peace with someone else? Now I get it though. It's hard for Ben to think about going up to a total stranger he embarrassed and having to apologize. How many of you think that'd be hard for you? Well, you know what? Let's play a game. I'm gonna give you a few scenarios and I want you to vote on a scale of one to five. Whether you think it's easy or hard to keep the peace with that person. And remember, peace can be all sorts of things. It can mean letting something go instead of being annoyed or choosing to talk instead of yell or being the first to apologize. Got it? Okay, so you're gonna vote with your fingers on a scale of one being easy or two or three or four all the way to five being the hardest for you to keep peace with that person. Ready? Here we go. Let's say a kid on your ball team always cuts in the snack line. So by the time you get to the front, all the good stuff is long gone. And he did it again today. 
Who says that'd be easy to keep the peace? And who thinks that'd be hard? Ready? Give me a number. Vote. Mm, now for me, I'd say two. Uh, not totally easy, but I do love Cheetos. And if they were going every day, I'd be a little upset. Oh, okay, next one. Your little brother chews so loud at the table and he sits right next to you. Every chew grosses you out. Is it easy or hard to keep the peace? Ready? Vote. Nah, now that's a four for me. Chewing noises are disgusting, but I bet that totally wouldn't bother some of you much. Okay, next one. Let's say a kid on the bus always laughs at another kid. It's kind of mean and you think the other kid's feelings are hurt. Now on a scale of one for easy and five for hard, how hard would it be for you to keep the peace in that situation? Now that's a five for me. I mean, I hate seeing other people get hurt and I could totally see myself being mean right back to that other kid. Not the best way to handle it though. Okay, let's do one more. Now let's say your older brother keeps picking up his phone to answer a text message every time you're trying to talk to him. And you're annoyed because you want him to pay attention to you. Is it easy or hard to keep the peace? Everybody, vote. Okay, well, we all had different answers, didn't we? Like for some of us, the bus situation was a total five. And for others, not getting our Cheetos, it was a five. But we could totally stay calm with our older brother. See, sometimes keeping the peace is easy and sometimes it's hard. But here's who God says we got to keep the peace with. Check this out. See if you can figure it out. Impossible as far as it depends on you. Live, Live at, at peace with, with everyone. Hey, grab a friend and try repeating this verse sometime this month. If it is possible as far as it depends on you. Live, Live at, at peace, peace with, with everyone. Who does God want us to live at peace with? Everyone. The verse said, live at peace with everyone. Well, if we're going to do that, then we might need a little practice. So turn to the people around you. I'm going to give you a few examples of situations, and I want you to talk about specific ways you could keep the peace. Ready? Okay, here we go. The other team keeps cheating. They just want to win, and it's super annoying. Your teammates are mad. What could you do to keep the peace? Okay, did you come up with anything? I think you could help calm your team down. You could talk to the coach about what to do and try to remember it's just a game and it's not worth getting too upset over. Now, I know some of you are dying because that's so hard, but that's peace. It's not easy. Okay, next scenario. The new kid in class forgot a pencil and took one of yours without asking. How could you keep the peace?
Well, what'd you say? I think I'd say to myself, it's okay. I mean, he's new. I'd just let him borrow it. I wouldn't tell the teacher or get mad. I'd just keep the peace because it's probably a hard day for him. Okay, last one. You're playing with a group of friends when another kid makes a joke about you. You don't think it's funny, but everyone else, they laugh. How can you keep the peace? What'd you come up with? Uh, did anyone say, uh, make a mean joke about the kid who made the one about you? No. Did anyone say, tell everyone you're mad at them and then just run away? No. See, this is tough because it hurts when someone makes fun of you. And it's okay to say, hey, that hurt my feelings. But keeping the peace means trying to work it out in a calm way. Now, sounds impossible, right? All you can do is try. That's why the verse said, as far as it depends on you. So you can't control other people and you can't always keep the peace. But peace is so important to God because it keeps our friendships and our relationships together. So try your best to live at peace with everyone. Let's pray. God. Thanks for sending Jesus to show us how you want us to live. This week, help us to choose peace when it's easy and when it's hard. Help us to do all we can to keep the peace with everyone. We love you, God. Amen. You know what's funny? Until today, I used to think of peace as like an easy thing. As like, just don't be mad. Be cool, you know? Peace. But I think that peace is actually pretty hard. Like, it's going to take me a lot of courage to go and apologize to this kid at school. But I just know it's what God wants me to do. What about you? Is there anyone you need to keep this peace with? Anyone you have a gut feeling about? Like, you know you need to apologize? Or maybe you just need to be the friend this week that always keeps the peace. Whatever it is, be strong and brave, okay? We can do this. I'm out. Peace. One word and the dark became light I believe it, I believe it, yeah You spoke my name and my heart came to life I believe it, I believe it, yeah I wanna sing about it, I wanna scream and shout it Yeah. I wanna sing about it, I wanna scream and shout it